don't believe it. A little of the laugh. That's it. Ah! Steady as she goes. Frank, what's going on here? Everything all right at home, Frank? <laughs> Can't talk now. All right, catch a bottle wants to be just a hair to start with. Let me handle this. I did a year at Bellevue. <laughs> what are you doing, Frank? Well, if you'll kneel at the end of the tent and get the tabletop at eye level, and you will see that each bottle of ketchup lines up behind the others if there was only one bottle of ketchup. Now, the same is true of your condiments, which, if you will note, are arranged according to height and popularity. There's your ketchup, your mustard, your relish, your mayonnaise, your oil and vinegar, your salt and pepper, and your sweet and sour gherkins all in a row. <laughs> I think we should do something with Frank's head and mail it back to him. In a jar. Perfecto! Father Mulcahy, are you in? And open for business. Ah, winner. Very smart outfit. You busy, Father? Just washing my feet. Parenthetically, did you know that it was the custom on Holy Thursday for the Pope to wash a poor man's feet? So? Well, there's not much chance of His Holiness showing up here, so I thought I'd do my own. <laughs> oh, but seriously, Claire, what can I do for you? Well, Father, it, it's so quiet around here. What do they need me for? I'd like to get your opinion on this letter. Dear General Mitchell, here's one more picture of myself to prove I'm mentally unbalanced and deserving of a psychological discharge. You will notice that the dress I'm wearing Oh, dear. It's an exact copy of the one Rita Hayworth wore in Gilda. At least it's pretty close. I only saw the picture once, and I was sewing from memory. I'm a desperate man, General, and unless you give me the discharge, I will send the picture to your wife and tell her you've been seeing me on the side. Yours truly, Corporal Klinger, Nash, 4077. What do you think, Father? Klinger, the Lord moves in mysterious ways, but you take the cake. <laughs> So they save their patients. Neither one of them owns his own car. Frank, they can relieve your pain. Fat lot, those two Bulgarians care about my pain. Did I tell you about the boxing? They didn't hit you, Frank. No. They crated me in my sleep. No, you never told me. I don't tell you half their stunts. Did I mention the oatmeal and my gas mask? Oh, How about when they stapled a whole roll of my toilet paper? Beneath contempt, they're not fit to shine your clusters. And you're asking me to put myself into their hands? Yes, it's true. They're incorrigible. They're also two of the very best surgeons I've ever seen. Oh, really? Well, where do you stand on yours truly? Oh, Frank. No, no, let's have it out as professionals. <laughs> Nurse to doctor. How do I rate with you as a surgeon? Frank, don't you have enough pain? <laughs> Let's see, you're holding tens. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Don't rush me. What was the knock card? Frank, it's for your own good. You need this operation. Well, when they have me open, who knows what they'll stick in? Oh, they wouldn't. They're not inhuman. <laughs> What is it, Frank? Take off those masks. Take off those suits. We will if you will. Where did you get those costumes? What costumes? The costumes you're wearing. <laughs> These aren't costumes. We stopped shaving last month. Margaret, how can I possibly? Be strong, Frank. Go ahead. I want to talk to you both. As doctors. <laughs> this condition that's needed attention for about 10 years. Why do people always wait so long before they go to their gorilla? <laughs> Will you be serious? This man has a hernia. Um, I would like to uh, ask you if you'd uh, consider operating on me. One moment, I'll have to check with my colleague. <laughs> We'll do it. Me and the missus. <laughs> Margaret. I'll be here every moment. If anything should happen, would you write my wife? Are you out of your mind? Evening, hey, children. Hi, y'all. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Let's hear it now for that great star of stage, screen, and surgery, Dr. Benjamin Franklin Pierce. Here's Dirty Fingernails and his orchestra. <laughs> Thank you for that very fine introduction. Thank you. Thank you. And now, ladies and germs, with your very kind permission, we'd like to do a little operation we've had a lot of luck with. <laughs> and we certainly hope it turns out to be one of yours. You said you would be serious. Oh, quite right. Uh, give the patient a local. Rusty needle, please. Oh. Attention, all personnel. Attention, incoming wounded. Incoming wounded. Both ships. Now the party's the over. Ah, Hard back in up. business, damn Get up, Frank. Well, what about my hernia? Keep it for a few days. If you like it, it's yours. Yes, you know, Frank, we're promoting you from patient to doctor. You can do it. Just cut along the dotted line. <laughs> Don't look. He's an idiot. But he's really stacked. <laughs>